How is your 2020? Did you ever enjoy it till now? What was happening in your life for the past seven months? What happened to your dreams? What happened to your goals? Can we have a review? Is it possible? 2020 was nasty for many and worst for many more people. And many lost their jobs, especially employees of IT industry. Many companies were closed across the globe. Hi, this is Ram Khani, trainer, author, speaker, coach. Today, I'm going to share with you about a book which inspired me to carry on, to hang on to my dreams, to my goals and reiterate or rejuvenate myself to proceed with my dreams and with new goals in the new normal. What inspired me? Your best year ever. A five step plan for achieving your most important goals by Michael Hyatt. This book inspired me to carry on with my dreams. Your best year ever a five-step plan for achieving your most important goals. So what is the gist of this book? Many more inspired by his book across the globe in these days of new normal. This is the year you finally close the gap between reality and your dreams. We all want to live a life that matters. We all want to reach our full potential, but too often we find ourselves overwhelmed by the day to day. Our big goals get pushed to the back burner and then more often than not, they get forgotten. It doesn't have to be that way. In your best year ever, Hyatt shares a powerful proven research-driven system for setting and achieving your goals. You shall learn how to design your best year ever by discovering what's holding you back right now, how to overcome your past setbacks, the seven attributes of effective goals, how to quit-proof your goals, the role of habits in personal achievement, what to do when you feel stuck and much more. If you are tired of not seeing progress in your personal, intellectual, business, relational or financial goals, it's time for you to have your best year ever rejuvenating yourself in these days of new normal. There are some very inspiring quotes mentioned in this book, I read out for your benefit. The only people with no hope are those with no regrets. The only people with no hope are those with no regrets. Gratitude has the potential to amplify everything good in our lives. Yes, they say that there is attitude in gratitude and what is the advantage of leveraging gratitude in your life you have to leverage the advantage of gratitude the more gratitude you show towards people towards the positivity around you towards the results you get towards the blessings of God on day-to-day -day basis. Show gratitude through prayer, 
early in the morning. Remember them in your prayers. That's the power of gratitude. And another most important thing is writing your goals. Without writing your goals, you cannot achieve. No, no, it's there in my brain. I can read out or spell out at any moment. You tell me, you ask me, I'll tell you my goals. It's not like that. You have to write down your goals. Otherwise, people lose their way when they lose their why. Your goals are full of your whys and hows. How you do it, why you do it. If your why is strong, your way will be more visible. Right? And if you want to see a big change, you must be willing to take a big leap. It's as simple as four steps, one for each letter of the acronym. Leap. Learn, engage, activate, pounce. Learn into the change with expectancy. When you notice that a change is desirable or necessary, that's your green light. Punch the gas pedal. That inkling is all you need to get going. Engage with the concept until you achieve clarity. Don't let the feeling pass. Work with it until you have got a sense of what to do. That nagging thought in the back of your mind might be the start of a whole new adventure or the ladder you need to climb out of a deep rut. Activate and do something, anything. Sometimes we wait to move until we have all the information. That's a mistake. Clarity comes in degrees and you only need enough light for the next step. Even if you get off on the wrong foot, the rest of the journey will become clearer as you go. Pounce and do it now, right now. That's why I, I like the tagline of Nike. Just do it. Once you have determined your next step, take it. Don't wait. Waiting feels safe, but waiting kills dreams. Another most important thing is you have to write your goals. Professor Gail Matthews of Dominican University of California conducted her own study not long ago and confirmed the power of writing down our goals. What to do and why to do and write your goals. Why to write your goals? Right? There are some four ways to write your goals on why to write your goals. Committing your goals to writing is not the end game, but it is foundational for success for at least five reasons. First, it forces you to clarify what you want. I'm sorry I said four, no? It's five. Imagine setting out on a trip with no particular destination in mind. How do you pack? What roads do you take? How do you know when you have arrived? Instead, you start by picking a destination. Clarity is a precondition for writing. Ask any author suffering writer's block. They can't write because they are unsure what they are trying to say. Second, writing down goals helps you overcome resistance. Once you write, you cannot resist. That will be slowly and gently pushing you Look at me, I'm your goal. You have written. You have to realize your goal. Come on, start taking action. The third one, it motivates you to, do, to take action. The third one is, as I said before, it will motivate you. The written goal will motivate you to take action. The fourth one is, it filters other opportunities. When you get more opportunities, 
it will filters because it will help you to focus on the goal it will not allow you to distract hey this is your goal don't go that side you have to focus on your goal right and after fulfilling realizing your goal you can grab other opportunities the fifth one is it enables you to see and celebrate your progress once you are fix it your eyes on your goals then it will help you to measure and celebrate what gets measured gets managed peter drucker said right that's why you have to write your goals and follow them diligently till you realize them best of luck for a great career and business ahead thank you very much for your kind attention and watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much good luck take care bye bye